Hi, my name is Gail Shirey. I'm an instructor here at Southwestern Michigan College, and today we're going to talk about annotating. One of the purposes of annotating is to help engage your mind with the text and focus your attention on what you're reading. So the steps for annotating, the first one is to turn any heading or title into a question. So in this particular passage, it's the oldest creature, we're going to turn that into a question. And the purpose of the question is to answer it through the text. So my first question is, what is the oldest creature? And then my second thing I would want to know is maybe why? Why is it the oldest? So then, to help engage in the text, the first thing you want to do with each paragraph is find the topic and underline it. So as I read along in this particular paragraph, it talks about, okay, what wild animal is the oldest in this continent? And so that's my topic. And it goes along to answer that question in the paragraph. And then the next step is to also circle any cue or key words that might be important that I know or help me with information. So as I'm reading along, a key word is marsupial, but also 70, because 70 million years might be a significant number. And so then what I want to do is pull out the key information over on the side, and I want to actually write directly in the text with annotating. I'm not taking notes on another piece of paper, you're writing directly on it. So my first one is oldest, and we know what the oldest is. It tells us in the article, it says the Virginia gray possum. And then a couple of important things I might need to know about it. It is a marsupial, and it has survived for 70 million years. In the next paragraph, as I move along, again, I look for the topic, which is why the possum survived, and I'm going to underline that. And now here's some keywords. A keyword is numerous. Numerous means there are many. And so as I'm reading along, I want to maybe number them and point them out as I'm reading. So the first one is birth rate. And as I'm reading along, another one is it has the most teeth. As I'm reading along, I find out that it's able to run quickly. It is a skillful climber of trees. And it's also a fairly good swimmer. So when I'm pulling out my information, I want to say, okay, why survived? And then I'm going to list my reasons. One is birth rate. Now I may want to give myself a little bit of a hint here on why the birth rate's important. They breed twice a year, last 13 day litters. And then the second reason, it has the most teeth. Again, I may want to give myself a little more information. Okay, they had 50 teeth and they eat anything. And I might say insects, berries, whatever they eat. And then the third reason is they run quickly. The fourth is that they climb well. And the fifth is they are a good swimmer. You'll do this for each paragraph, keeping the information next to the paragraph it's about. When you're finished, you'll have a very similar looking annotation as this. As you can see, this article has been completely finished. The topics have been underlined, key points have been numbered, and information's been pulled out to the side in an organized manner. 